Japan has been in this business for over 13 years. We produce regenerative devices that helps to the body to repair itself and regenerate tissue. We also have uh, over 10,000 implants and 10 years of successful clinical follow-up. Our scaffolds are actually designed after corals that are highly porous and that actually encourages a lot of uh, bone and cartilage growth. Lah. One of my students, she was playing softball and she missed the catch and the softball hit her eye. And the orbital floor fractured. And when the orbital floor fractured, your eyeball can drop and you cannot see properly. I think it was Professor T. C. Lim, the plastic surgeon, who then implanted a scaffold which can be easily inserted minimally invasive through a slit in the eye. Then it became a really successful case. Many of the competitors, they use conventional manufacturing. They are fixed tools that has to be built before they can produce. But with 3D printing, we, we don't need to. All the 3D printers that we use in our manufacturing are actually uh, manufactured in-house. So we design the 3D printers, we build them from scratch, then we use them for our commercial 3D printing. In the past, we had these isolated segments in our process flow. So what we did with ASTAR SimTech was to combine these processes into one single step. Right? And uh, through this collaboration, we actually allow ourselves to improve our process efficiency by five times. You know, I actually feel that A-Star is a very important part of our MacTech ecosystem. I've seen many labs um, that has produced very interesting technologies, uh, but these technologies can actually be integrated to or developed into um, products that could serve patients. And if there are companies that are interested, um, especially there are some companies that are already in medical device manufacturing, they could work with A-Star or have a technology transfer and develop that and produce product for themselves.